Yeah, I want to ask you a little about Bill Barr in a second. But you mentioned Hillary Clinton. I want to stay there for a second because there's a lot yeah. of uh, speculation uh, on the right. People like Devin Nunes and John Ratcliffe who say, look, there was really no real investigation of Hillary Clinton when she was handling those emails. And we found out from the Lisa Page testimony, in her testimony, she said, we got word down from the DOJ. That's Obama's Department of Justice, who basically told the FBI, lay off. We're not bringing charges against Hillary Clinton, so forget about it. I mean, do you think that at some point is going to come back up? Will there be investigation into that? Uh, and the fact that there were a lot of lies, lies to Congress, by the way, a felony. Uh, there was the deletion of emails. There was a whole host of stuff that came out during that investigation, whether it was or not. Uh, and the FBI wanted to charge her with gross negligence, but the DOJ said no. Yeah, there really needs to be a full airing uh, of all this. I'm not saying criminal charges need to be brought. Uh, I'm not saying lock her up. I'm saying let's get to the bottom of all this because I don't think we did. And it does appear, I think here's what I would say. There's probable cause to believe, Maria, that there was a thumb on the scales, a signal being sent, and maybe it was a more direct signal than we may have even realized. We're not going to charge the person who we think is going to be our boss, the next president of the United States. So let's not forget that. Hillary was in a very special place, right? She was going to be, presumptively, the president of the United States. And the FBI, at least the FBI leadership, was not interested in investigating the boss. Uh, and certainly the Obama Justice Department would not have been particularly sympathetic with the idea, why don't we bring criminal charges against the next president of the United States before sure. she becomes president? Of course, all that was totally cockeyed and wrong. But we need a rule of law system and we need accountability. That's what this whole special counsel op apparatus, as you know, is all about. Are we going to get it now with the new attorney general, Ken? Tell me what you know about William Barr and where you think he'll go now. Uh, I served with Bill Barr, and then I served under Bill Barr when he was uh, Attorney General under President Bush 41. He's a total straight shooter. Uh, and I think what we saw in the confirmation hearings uh, recently uh, is just indicative of the kind of person he is. He's a lawyer's lawyer, and he's not going to be intimidated by anyone. He's going to make his judgments, and the judgments are going to be very reasonable, grounded judgment. And he's a courageous person who knows his job as the Justice Department head and the chief law enforcement officer in the United States is to be and to set an example of total integrity and faithfulness to the law. And that's the way he is. He's a stand-up guy, as I say. Yeah. You know, in the, in the Mueller report, um, a lot of people are talking about the special counsel investigation was the, uh, was the following of the FBI investigation into Donald Trump. And so, you know, you can, you can make the case that, well, like Devin Nunes will say, the special counsel investigation should never have started because the FBI investigation into Donald Trump did not have a predicate. We still don't understand why they started it other than they just wanted to take down their political right. enemy and a duly elected president. So what, what about that in, in terms of the special counsel's right. investigation? Yeah, it's, uh, there are so many troubling things uh, about uh, the way the investigation began. There's no question about that. Uh, did Rose, Rod Rosenstein jump the gun? It's a very fair question. Was he spooked by the firing of Jim Comey and so on and so forth? But you know what? The good news uh, is it's over. And the special counsel has determined that no further criminal charges should be brought. So I think we can say, even if it should never have been launched in terms of collusion, there were important co accomplishments of the investigation, as we know, including, I don't wish him ill, but Paul Manafort needed to be brought to the bar of justice. And as you've said on your program, people shouldn't be lying to Congress and they shouldn't be lying to the FBI. So I think we've relearned some hard lessons in this whole process. And so we can say this is now part of history. Uh, I do think, by the way, I was quite critical of some of the people around Bob Mueller uh, and the, the idea that Rudy Giuliani uh, articulated the 13 angry Democrats. I wouldn't go that far. Mm. Uh, 
but uh, but that having been said, we were criticized years ago as as being essentially a Republican witch hunt right into uh, a Bill Clinton. It wasn't. It was an unfair charge. But I took remedial measures, including bringing very quickly the legendary Sam Dash of Watergate fame, a prominent Democrat, onto our investigation. Yeah. And by the way, he read and approved every single word of the referral. Wow. That was a check and a balance that Congress knew. Well, look, you know what, Ken, you did an incredible job. Thank you for your leadership and all that you, you do. Ken Starr, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. And that'll do it for this week's Insiders. I'm Maria Bartiromo. Catch me Monday through Friday on Mornings with Maria on the Fox Business Network. And then each weekend on Fox News Channel for Sunday Morning Futures, live at 10 a.m. every Sunday. And also anytime right here on demand on Fox Nation. I'll see you again next time.